Okay, so we are now done swatching and my plan now is to paint two wreaths that are um, that will use two different sets because I feel like that's how I will understand the colors um, Okay, so let's start with currents. I'm gonna use every other every color except for green for the main flowers and then of course the green will be used for the leaves so let's start um, so seaside looks like a nice color to start with I'm just gonna paint something um, simple and also fast because I, I just want to see how it looks like if I use all the colors in one wreath so maybe let's add some ocean um, green right here let's grab the blue whale blue whale looks like a like almost indigo and then this deep sea is like paints gray and these are two colors that I really like so hmm, let's try jellyfish this one looks like um, looks like ultramarine So I'm just going to paint something really loose. So let's try to... I'm, I'm quite confused with this kind of swatches. Um, so I have to count. It's easier if it's just like one paper like this and everything's in there. Okay. Okay, that's too much water. So I like the greens um, in this set because they are super vibrant. I'm gonna try to use all the colors. Yeah, this is I think one of the nicest greens in this palette. This is called Sea Green. Um, the color looks natural. It doesn't look too um too fake <laughs> okay okay so there's like an olive greenish color called al algae or algae um okay so let's try to paint with this olive green i kind of feel like i wanna paint a flower using that color so this is um, the spontaneous <laughs> painting and I'm just um, trying to choose the paints on the spot so you'll just see me like think about which color to choose so I'm sorry if you have to wait um, I'm also confused with the placement in the swatches okay so now I've added deep sea this is a nice like paints gray color and it just looks so pretty hmm, let's try blue fin and just paint some tiny buds right here and let's try this Turkish sea okay let's try to change up the color Caribbean Sea is a nice green. It's like a deep colored green. Here, this is this is so pretty. Okay, 
So I feel like I need to add um I'm gonna add the olive green color here. So I'm just gonna paint really really quick. Okay. And let's add another blue here. much used all the colors this is blue whale this is like indigo let's try more of the seaside let's try to add some buds and I think I'd like to add more olive green right here just to balance it out okay so this is quite scary <laughs> to paint on the spot um okay I'm thinking if i have used like all the colors or not but the colors for the current current um set is really pretty and I do find myself um, using this in the future I love greens and blues for my florals and I love that in this set I'm not gonna mix my greens anymore because sometimes I get really lazy I'm loving this flower it looks really good so I think uh -huh. I'm gonna add more here I know it kind of looks funny now but okay this is an impromptu painting <laughs> um, so I'm gonna add just a few more details so if you like painting the ocean I think yeah, this would be like a perfect set for you. Um, I think I'm done. So, this is like the overall feel of the palette. There's a lot of blues and greens. And I like this the addition of this olive green color. It just makes everything pop. Okay, let's move on to terrain. Okay, so let's move on to terrain. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to paint like almost the same wreath, same style. Um, so let's try sour wood. This is a nice red color. It's a nice rich red reddish pink actually. And okay, yeah, it's a nice, nice pink pinkish red color and okay then it's add um I'm gonna try to add the purple smoke right here so this is like a muted um looks like a muted purple and I feel like there's I'm not sure if there's a little bit of white in it. It does feel a little creamy. And let's add one more here. Let's add maple. So I'm just gonna try to paint loosely and then let's add um, green. I'm gonna add this. This is called vine leaf. I 
I noticed that <coughs> in this set the greens are a little weak they're not as vibrant as the greens in the current set <coughs> let's try to add fern just to give that pop of color okay and then i'm gonna use what's this sassafras to paint an almost identical wreath okay so now let's add just a bit of um, blue I feel like the greens here are a little weak so I'm just gonna try to mix blue shadow and sassafras just to give me a stronger green color okay so let's add some buds as well right here add some green then let's add crab apple crab apple is like a flesh tone color um okay maybe i can add a flower right here oh it looks nice i thought that it won't fit in within this wreath because the color is too pale but it looks great I'm just gonna add a bit of maple in the center. Let's add flower right here. So I'm painting really loose and fast. I noticed as well that the greens in this palette um, are milky and I'm not sure if it's because there's white in it it looks more um, opaque but this is a nice color I like this I did not expect to love this color because I usually like more vibrant colors. Um, okay, so what can we add? Oh, I forgot. I haven't used this. I haven't used this color. This is yellow, a uh, willow tree. So it's like a very pale um, lemon yellowish. Okay. So let's paint some buds using this. Well, it looks like a wreath is looking good. I'm using all the colors that I can find, but um, you need to add blue shadow to your greens, or you can mix blue shadow and sassafras to create a more intense green because. I feel like it's lacking in that strong leafy green color but it could also be just a preference so I think I need to add more green to, to make it more, like fuller um, okay I think I'm gonna add 
more blue. Then you can add a bit more here. Looks like this um, reef looks more colorful. I'm just gonna add just to balance this out. I think I want something more intense here, so let's add a bit of um, purple. Let's just add some buds. This is actually a nice color. I don't think I've seen this color in the other sets of Art Philosophy. Okay, I think this has a better shape than this. So what do you guys think? Will you guys buy current or terrain? At first, my my first impression is to like buy this currents. I mean, if I'm if if I were a customer, I would buy currents because i love painting florals and i love premixed greens and i guess judging from the colors on the box and on the swatches i probably wouldn't buy this but but now that i painted the reef i think it looks great if i were a customer i would buy both i would definitely buy both so yeah sometimes swatches are not enough um gauge for you to buy something really have to paint it um in the subject that you usually paint like for example i paint a lot of florals so i need to paint it in a wreath so that i know which set to to get um yeah so that's that's a tip okay so we are done with our wreaths and as you can see this one has like a cool um, feel a very calming um, feel because of the blues but this one um, well this one has a warmer feel but it also does have that like pop of color, that vibrancy from some of the colors in the palette. Um, I do, I do love this, the current set. I would definitely, I would definitely recommend getting this because of the greens that are pre-mixed, and I love that there's like a paint gray color. There's also like an indigo-ish color, which I love. I like this set. Let's talk about my favorite colors in this set. I do love Blue Whale. I also like the vibrancy of Jellyfish. And of 
course I love deep sea because this looks like paint gray I love the sea green and for me Caribbean sea is interesting and seaside looks a little bit like a turquoise but um, just a slightly deeper turquoise color but I, I do love everything here I would if I didn't have the current set I would probably buy buy it myself <laughs> but yeah I, this is a good set for this one to be honest my first impression a while ago when I was watching this was that I didn't like this set because um, I don't like the green so much because of the I guess it's a bit weak but I guess that is just a preference and you can remedy that you can use it's a good thing that they added blue shadow here so you can actually add near blue to all the greens here to make it more intense so that's a remedy that you can do for the terrain my favorite will be the purple smoke tree i think it's a very interesting color it looks like a milky purple color it's really really nice and i also like crab apple which i did not expect to like but when you paint it on the paper it just looks so pretty it looks so feminine and dainty i think it looks great for florals i would love to try painting more with this set um i feel like um yeah, some of the greens are a bit weak but that's only because i love the vibrant um green just like this the sea green so if we compare it side by side you'll see that this is like a paler set but i think i would like to um play with play it with it some more to and by painting it in a wreath style i guess i appreciate terrain more when i painted it like this as opposed to just swatching but yeah i think it's it's interesting it's an interesting set and i guess what i like about it is that it's i guess it's not the usual colors that i would use and that is good because that will sort of change the way I paint because it's something out of my comfort zone so yeah I'm happy that I was able to try terrain and I would just love to like play around with this set some more so I hope that by demonstrating how I use the colors in the florals um, that this will help you decide if you want to get this set or not um, so yeah that's it and also um, as part of the design team we have a code 15% um, off code for all our followers so I'm gonna put the code right here and you can visit the website of art philosophy um, you can check the link in the description box below if you buy using my code you'll get 15 percent off your purchase and they also ship internationally so yeah thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye